Hey, good morning to you. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. I got an update on you. It's not only the La Palma volcano, but the outcome of what's going on. Because not only is it growing more landmass, and it's still toxic, but they're saying that it can use that landmass to cultivate later on. Plus an update on the Hawaiian volcano that did start erupting. I am showing so far there's no threat to the public. And your tropical update, I am showing that we do have a threat still about eight, nine days away where it could get into the Western Caribbean and maybe get into our Gulf, maybe go to the Southeast of the US. Now, if you've never been here before, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I am all year along and just not Friday from sundown to Saturday from sundown, that's Sabbath. All I ask is if you find this information helpful, please share this on social media, help get the word around of what's going on with this. As well as hit that like button for me, show support to the channel, thank you so much. God bless every single one of you. Remember, all the links are in the description to save you time. Now, as you all know, this was the first moment when the lava started reaching the ocean. And that's when it started raising up this very toxic gas, this laze. And the lava still remains active. But as of now, it has now constructed a new size of 100 meters into the sea. And the lower vent, the one where the cone collapsed, it just keeps feeding this delta of lava, this river, straight to the ocean. So it's just steady flowing. And ever since, it's been having earthquakes very deep. You can see this big cluster very deep, which means that the lava is going to be coming from a deeper depth, continuing into the channel that's growing into the ocean now. So it's going to be going on for quite some time. And this lava just kept going and billowing into the ocean, and we're talking about a lot of lava. And now, not only is it growing out, it still has a very toxic gas, as you know, the lays where it can put glass particles in the air and it's very dangerous. Remember, all these links are in the description so you can go watch all these videos. Now this poisonous gas, the residents were told to stay inside and keep their windows shut. This is very toxic, very dangerous gas. I've seen some people walking around and that is very dangerous because one little quick shift of the wind and you're in trouble. Now this link is in the description as well. This is volcanologist Dr. Karina Fairley. She explains how the impacts after the lava of the volcano goes into the ocean. She shows how it could be very toxic and it produces the gas laze. And this laze is a lava haze. It puts hydrochloric acid into the air and it's kind of like battery acid on your skin. But she explains all the dangers that you can get out of this of what's going on. So please watch the link in the video and listen to the doctor because she's going to tell you exactly what these dangers are. So some people saying it's not too dangerous. It is highly dangerous. And you can see here how the lava is constructing a new delta as it grows as hot lava flows into the city and extending the coastline outward. So it's actually growing more landmass after all this toxic gas is over and the volcano starts putting lava in there. They actually have new land that they say now that they can actually cultivate from this later on. Now this new lava that's erupting from a deeper depth in the volcano saying it can lead up to the main system and it could lead up to also new vents forming out of this volcano. Here's another angle so you can see how the lava is just flowing out into the ocean. It is creating more land mass, but at the same time, you can see this very dangerous, very toxic gas going into the atmosphere. And the new lava map. As you take a look, you can see all these homes that look right here on Google Earth. You can see this big section right here and the path took right on this side of the mound straight into the ocean. But if you see all these homes right here and then you go to the lava map, you can see exactly which ones got affected. They all got run over by the lava. And here's a look from above, right by the cliff. If you remember, that was a straight fall off cliff where they had the landslides. And you can see how far out this is actually going. It's creating a very big new landmass. And he said it's about 100 meters so far. But that is a lot of toxic gas as well. I believe the winds are going to the west. But if these winds shift and go east, or northeast anywhere in that direction this will go right over everybody so you need to stay inside and listen to the authorities because they're actually saving your life this gas will hurt you if not kill you video in the description as well so you can watch it david calvo and vulcan spokesman vulcan if you go watch them on twitter they update very often but they say that the lava has found a highway to the sea now not only that after the toxic gas goes away and all this calms down later on it actually is a positive thing. Calvo has pointed out that the delta continues to grow and it is a common process in which it is called a low island and it can be formed that over the decades can be used for cultivation. And since it's being formed into this little river channel where it's flowing right out into the ocean creating its own little delta in his opinion it is very likely that the lava will not reach them. So it'll pretty much everybody in the area will be okay if this keeps flowing in the same channel.
even though the island is being restructed, he's saying right now at the moment that there is no concern as far as what's going to happen with this lava. It's very toxic gas, very dangerous to be breathing any of that in. But right now, the lava shows that it's just following the same channel over and over out into the ocean. An update on Kilauea volcano eruption. The U.S. Geological Survey and Hawaiian Vulcan Observatory confirmed that the crater has erupted on Wednesday, but there is no current threat to the public. But they have confirmed that Kilauea has erupted as of 3.42 p.m. yesterday, and right now they're showing there's no threat. And as of right now, the eruption is currently showing no threat to the public. Plus, your tropical update, I'm still showing that this Invest 91L is very weak system, but still we get some energy in the Caribbean in a few days, and something is still showing that we're going to have issues later on. NOAA has says as far as Hurricane Sam, that swells are expected to reach Bermuda and the Bahamas by Friday, then spread to the United States East Coast. And these swells could cause life-threatening uh, rip currents that you need to watch out for. Right now, Victor is predicted to be a storm, then a hurricane, then go right back down to a tropical storm. And when you look at the update from the Climate Prediction Center from NOAA, you can see from September 29th to October 5th that they're only expecting a tropical cyclone formation and going a little northward. That is it. Then from October 6th to October 12th, there is nothing that they are showing yet as of right now. When you look on the next 10 days, according to the Euro, you can see that Sam goes away and Victor goes northward and dies out as well. When you look according to the GFS, you can see how Sam goes and Victor goes, but you do see there's a little mess that creates on the southeast of the U.S. and for the Caribbean. And if nothing forms in the least of it, this will be bringing heavy rainfall. So literally in about nine days, October 8th, according to the Euro, you can see something does start to form up in the Western Caribbean, and it does start making its way towards Florida. We've been seeing that for a minute now. But there's a lot of wishy-washiness going on because with that cold front coming down, I really don't know what these storms are going to do. It could show another one could come in towards Florida, but this is not consistent. It's showing this now, but if you look later on, it'll show something totally different. But when you look for a chance for a strength of at least a tropical depression, you see literally in nine days the energy does grow up in the Western Caribbean, and so far it is moving towards Florida, somewhat towards Bahamas. If you look at the Arctic Oscillation, according to the Euro, it's still showing that not only the cold front, but the cold front does start leaving around the 9th. Even the GFS confirms not only with these cold fronts coming down for a while, but it also confirms that it will be going to a northward push where it would be a high ridge instead of a low trough around the 9th and 10th and maybe come back later on. But around the 9th or 10th where this potential storm could form up in the Western Caribbean, both models are showing that there will not be a deep trough into the southeast protecting the southeast from any kind of storm formation. Check to see what's going on with the ensemble starting just on the 7th. You can see right here on E20 that something already starts to form up. And according to this one, it, it builds up pretty good. And it heads into our Gulf because we don't have that low trough of the cold front. And so far going towards Louisiana. Also, if you look right here on 18, you can see how it does go into the Gulf of Mexico. And it does build up strength just like we just seen on the other one. But instead of going west towards Louisiana, it goes east towards the southeast of the U.S. We look for the rainfall for the next 10 days. According to the Euro, you see some heavier rainfall in the Western Caribbean. You see some heavier rainfall in the southeast as well as the northeast. But you don't see any rainfall in this region right here where the GFS shows that it will be some heavier rainfall, not only for Dominican Republic, but this Keep in mind, this is 10 days away, so this could easily shift a little more east or even a little more west towards Jamaica. It's just a little too far away. I will keep my eye on it. And the latest run does show that around October 4th, literally within five days, that we do get some kind of formation of a storm somewhere around the eastern Caribbean. It does go around for a while. It does hang out and put heavy rainfall. At the same time, we do get another sneaky dicky storm that goes right off the coast of Florida, and it just hangs around for a while. It strengthens, it dies out, it strengthens, it dies out. This is a live stream of the La Palma volcano and everything going into the ocean now. Link in the description so you can go watch it. And you can clearly see all this toxic gas. This toxic gas is literally like battery acid if it gets on your skin. It will affect you very severely. So those that are walking around this, please stop thinking it's a brave thing. It's more like a stupid thing. Stay away from this gas.
Now that's the update so far. I will stay on this for you guys to make sure you have any new information that comes out of this. So far, the volcano in Hawaii, there's no threat. And so far, La Palma is still spewing all this toxic gas. On a more personal note, thank you so much for all your prayers and kind words. For those that didn't know, I do post in my community tab if something ever happens to me. And I wasn't able to upload yesterday. I tried three different times. But once again, my shoulder just kept messing with me. It's, if you ever had a Charlie horse in your leg or your foot, it's just like that. It's a big Charlie horse in my shoulder, and it goes down my shoulder cap. And I can't move it at all. I tried controlling the mouse with the left hand yesterday. Still couldn't do anything. I just had to go lay down and try and heal up best I could. I couldn't even help with the homeschool. My wife literally had to carry all that luggage herself. So God bless her. She had a very rough day yesterday. James 5. Go to now, ye rich men. Weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver is cankered and the rust of them shall be a witness against you. And shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasure together for the last days. Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, crieth. And the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. Ye have lived in pleasure on the earth and been wanton. Ye have nourished your hearts as in a day of slaughter. Ye have condemned and killed the just, and he doeth not resist you. Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth, and hath long patience for it, until he receive the early and later rain. Be ye also patient, establish your hearts, for the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. Grudge not one against another, brethren, lest ye be condemned. Behold, the judge standeth before the door. Take, my brethren, the prophets, who have spoken in the name of the Lord, for an example of suffering, affliction, and of patience. Behold, we count them happy which endure. Ye have heard of the patience of Job, and have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy. But above all things, my brethren, Swear not, neither by heaven, neither by the earth, neither by any other oath. But let your yes be yes, and your nay, nay, lest ye fall into condemnation. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another, and pray one for another, that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Elias was a man subject to like passions as we are, and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain, and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth brought forth her fruit. Brethren, if any of you do err from the truth, and one convert him, let him know that he which converteth the sinner from the error of his ways shall save a soul from death, and shall hide a multitude of sins. Amen. Thank you so much for visiting my channel today. Tomorrow is Friday. <laughs> Yay. Again, thank you so much for the kind words. I will see you all in the morning. Hmm. All glory does go to Yahweh, God of Jacob, our Father. The Almighty. And he lives forever and ever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah, guys. Have a great day today.